I think we're all very much aware of the silly JaVale McGee Shaquille O'Neal feud, which erupted on Twitter uh, recently. Shaq has always picked on McGee on his Shaq and the Fool segment on TNT uh, to the point where McGee apparently has had some um, some mental issues, supposedly, from being picked upon by Shaq. <laughs> And um, <laughs> uh, McGee finally went at Shaq on Twitter, and then Shaq went back at him. Uh, I gotta admit, though, that picture of Shaq—I mean, Shaq, the, that picture Shaq put up on his Twitter account of McGee's face being superimposed on a bum—that shit was funny, man. But um, normally, I don't like seeing you know two black men go at it and shit, man. But Sometimes, man, you know, like, I got to take off my my social advocate and social warrior hat, man, and just be a fan of stupid shit sometimes, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes, whatever. Most people not even trying to listen to that shit anyway, man. They just want to be entertained. So, whatever, man. But, um, Kevin Durant came to the defense of his teammate. And was saying that Shaq wasn't, uh, he was a bad foul shooter. He didn't play on just one team, he played on several teams. And he didn't He didn't really have much skill. And he was, all he did was bully people around and all this type of shit. So Shaq recently said in an interview to SI that he didn't appreciate that. You know, uh, he didn't appreciate the words that were uh <laughs> You know, the, the comments that Kevin Durant said, and he said, quote, um, KD doesn't have G14 classification. He can't talk to me like that. He may think he does, and he's sticking up for his teammate. He's a great player, but you ain't in the club yet. You're on the outside in line with Charles Barkley, Carl Malone, and John Stockton. You're not in the club with me and those championship guys. That's why I tweeted him. Mind your business. LeBron has a lot of clearance because he's won championships. But when a guy who hasn't won championship makes comments, you say, how do you know? Durant was just trying to stick up for his teammate. If you read to what he said, none of his shit made sense. Well, actually, some of it made sense. He said I was strong and I bullied people. Of course, that's exactly what I did. I'm not going to go shoot jumpers and do all of that. Let's put it this way. The league is soft, and these guys are sensitive, period. I was sensitive as a player, too, but I never went back at older players. Like, you know, uh, Criminal Jabbar, Will Chamber Chamberlain never said shit to support me. Did I cry about it? No. Kareem said in the paper one time when they asked him, Shaq is doing great. He has numbers similar to yours. What do you think? His response was, well, he hasn't won a championship yet. I could have gone back at him, but I didn't. I sucked it up like a real man and was like, okay, watch this. A lot of guys these days, when you say anything about them, they start whimpering and crying. <laughs> I mean, shit. You know, I don't like some of the things that Shaq says. I don't agree with just because you you um, have won a championship, you should be able to cri uh, criticize a guy who has won championships, but... He's right about a lot of players these leagues being soft now, man. This league is soft as fuck. I mean, a lot of people don't like to hear it, but the league is soft as shit, man. I mean, you got guys who uh, call TNT or T Turner Sports and their agents, why is this analyst criticizing me? You know, I, oh, I try so hard. I'm putting up 17 points. Why is he crying? Why is he being so hard on me? Fucking crybaby ass motherfuckers. Shaq's right this time. <laughs>